Let us study the effects of inflation on exchange rate, on exports and imports, and trade balance. These questions can become tricky in UPSC prelims. Better way to understand these topics is through an example. In one of our previous video, we mentioned that inflation occurs because of excessive money supply. Excessive money supply means there are more rupees notes in the market. You can easily guess, if there is more of something, its value decreases. It is generally true for all commodities. More agricultural production results in lesser price for the produce. Rupee is generally compared with US dollar. Imagine it was 60 rupees for 1 dollar. Then there occurs inflation in India. That means more of rupees in the economy due to excessive money supply. Hence, value of rupee reduces with respect to dollar. One dollar might equal 70 rupees now. Rupee depreciates here. It is to be noted that there might be complex cases. For example, even US dollar might be facing inflation in their home country. And inflation might be due to other reasons also as we explained in previous videos of this series. Outcome usually does not change even in these cases. When there is inflation, domestic currency depreciates, loses its value in front of foreign currency. Let us see what happens to exports and imports. You wanted a laptop, not an ordinary laptop, Apple MacBook with highest available configuration. As you may have guessed, it is not available in India. You thought of importing it from America. Assume that it costs $1,000. Actually, it is lot more than that, but assume so. Since $1 is equal to 60 rupees, you will have to pay 60,000 rupees. Then occurs inflation and rupee depreciates. $1 equals 70 rupees because of inflation. For the same laptop of $1,000, you will have to pay 70,000 rupees in order to import. It turned out to be very costly. You might change your mind about Apple MacBook and instead buy a locally made Windows laptop. In this case, import substitution has taken place. Instead of buying a foreign imported item, you bought a local one which can do a similar job. Import substitution can actually help a country save precious foreign currency. Inflation is beneficial to save foreign currency if import substitution occurs. But this is not possible in case of compulsory imports such as petroleum, medicines, etc. Since we import crude oil in large quantities and import substitution is not technologically possible, we may end up losing more foreign currency than what can be saved from import substitution. Inflation increases exchange rate and makes all imports costlier. Hence, importing sector will try to persuade government to go for a stable exchange rate. What about effects of inflation on exports? An onion farmer in India exports onions to foreign countries. For 1 kg of onions, the farmer receives 1 dollar, that is 60 rupees. With inflation, assume that 1 dollar becomes 70 rupees. For export of 1 kg of onion, the foreigner still pays 1 dollar to the farmer. But when converted, farmer gets 70 rupees. This encourages the farmer to export more and more. Hence, exporting sector benefits here. Finally, let us understand what effect this can have on trade balance. It depends whether a nation is developed or developing and composition of foreign trade. If compulsory imports are more, inflation will act as a disadvantage, especially in developing countries. In case of developed country, increased exports and import substitution may benefit the economy. Thank you for watching and subscribe to Clarity of Concept.